so welcome back now in this video we will start working right on the sign up screen first let me close that and now in here we will also close that from here also close the main dot dot now we will simply open this sign up screen dot dot and now we will start working right in here for now it's totally empty screen as you guys can see right in here there's just an empty container so from here tap on this sign up and you will go toward the sign up screen there we go first we will set the wallpaper like we did for the login let me show you that wallpaper again right in the asset images and that wallpaper there we go first we will set that right in the background and then we will simply get some image from the google and we will make a beautiful animation for that curve animation like we did for the login screen so it will be also right in the sign up screen now simply right in here right in the widget build first let me close that in here we will remove that container and we will say scaffold and right in the scaffold we will have body and right in the body we will have a stack widget and right in the stack we will have a children and right in the children we will say catch network image there we go so we are going to remove that for now we will add it just in a while in here comma first and tag this down as I tell you first we will set the wallpaper so in here for that we will have a placeholder like we did for the login screen and it's gonna take the contacts and then we will say comma URL and in there image dot asset in which we will show that wallpaper so in here is string and right in there we will set the path for that wallpaper so we will say assets slash images and then we will say slash wallpaper and guys the name will be similar as I told you before dot jpg and in here comma also let me show you that right in the asset wallpaper dot jpg and there we go it's similar so let me close that from here now we will fit it add that property and we will say box fit dot fill all good so first as I told you we will show that wallpaper and right after what we will do now we will simply go towards the browser and search for an image that we will show in an animation right afterwards this wallpaper like we did in the login screen we will also do that right in here in the sign up so open your browser and search for the image so right in here as you guys know company 4k images you guys know about this image the whole story is simply select any of the image from here according to your personal choice let's say if you guys select that any of the image you can simply open that in a new tab and right from here copy that URL as you guys can see right at top right in here copy that and I will choose another image I will just show you now I will open a new tape and I'm gonna go with this image and that the previous one so I will simply use that image I will copy that URL from here copy it and go towards the Android studio so now in here we will open that services and go towards the global variable right in here so we will simply in here down below this we will say string and we're gonna 
set it for the sign up. So in here name this string variable as sign up u or l image and in here string and in here semicolon and right inside that string pass the url that you copied from the browser there we go you guys can see that already in here now we will simply use that so copy that from here sign up url image and we will close that from here and write in the cache network image above this placeholder in here we will say image url and then paste the sign up url image in here simply now import the library for that global variables or dot there we go now just simply press the controllers and see the output so it's not in a proper shape we will simply set the width and height for that so what we will do we will simply below this image asset in here first we will set the error widget as you tag the contacts and then the url and then error so right afterwards we will say icon and icons dot error there we go so in case of any error there will be that add the const modifier to that all good now below this in here we will set the width width gonna be double dot infinity and also the height will be double dot infinity so let's find that in here now we will fit it to box fit dot cover all good later on we will also add the animation first we will check that now simply press the controllers and see the output there we go now it's in a proper aligning in a proper shape as you guys can see now i will also show you that wallpaper you will simply come here and hold reload it so that you guys can get the idea now we are on the login so simply click in here on this sign up so we will go towards that screen there we go with the wallpaper and there we go with the other image that we add so now we will simply left with the animation we will add that animation first we will create it and then we will add that to this wallpaper so there is gonna be that beautiful animation like we did in here in the login as you guys can see in the background so we already implement the animation code as you guys know right in the login screen so for time saving we will copy that from the login and we will paste it right in sign up in here let's go toward the login page that folder open it and in here open that dot file we will go right at top in here first we will copy that animation and animation control we're gonna need that copy it and go toward the sign up screen dot dot so at the top right in there we will past it let's go back towards the login screen dot dot in here now we will simply copy that this was copy this from here and go towards the sign up screen dot dot above this widget bill in here we will past it that's fine now we will go back towards the login screen dot dot and we will simply copy that in its state method in which we implement the animation as you guys know already about that so simply from here 
to here copy that copy it and let's go back to the sign up in here above the widget build in here paste it there we go and for that error as you guys know we will add the trigger so let's go back to the login screen dot dot in here as you guys can see that with trigger provider stat maxing you will copy that from here go back to the sign up and with this paste it so the error is now gone already and I have already explained this in detail that animation working so there is no need of that to explain it again so we successfully add that now we will go down and below this cover right in here we will say alignment and fractional offset there we go in there we will say animation dot value and we will provide zero so that's fine right in here so now we will simply press the control s and see the output so we got an error let me fix that first so they say that animation has not been initialized and here we initialize that now simply we will cut the process and run the app from the start force loaded so now we will check the output this will take some time just wait for a while let me drag this down the app is funny now we will go towards the sign up screen and there we go it's working totally fine you guys can notice that the animation is working totally fine and because we make a major change and we didn't hold to load the app so that's why there was that error and you guys know already we initialized that animation so if you guys have that error just simply cut the process from here and hold to load the app again so it's gonna be removed then and the app will work just fine as you guys can see right in here already so now let's move further so we have successfully added the animation and you guys can see the output right in here on the sign up screen and the one thing I want to add in the login screen is simply come here and write in the dispose it's a login screen guys okay in here we simply as you guys know already create the email text controller also the password text controller and we didn't dispose that and also the focus node with the pass so we will simply write in here dispose that so you will say email text controller dot dispose and also we will say password text controller dot dispose and I will explain this why we call upon that right in here and dispose it and also the pass node focus node there we go simply dispose it all good so basically that dispose is a method trigger whenever created object from the stratful widget is removed permanently from the widget tree so basically is generally overridden and call only when the state object is destroyed so that's why in here we dispose that that's the reason so don't worry about that it will work just fine now if we hold to load the app 
you guys will notice now we will go towards the login screen and there we go with the output it's working totally fine now let's go back towards the sign up and in here all the working has been done already now simply what we will do we will close that login screen from here and we will come back right in here in the sign up as you guys know already so this video is becoming a little lengthy so we will end this video right in here and we will start working right in the next video so see ya